Hello, this is a video of the router that was sent by Utility Warehouse in August 2016, which is the Technicolor TG589, and they call it the AC, but it's actually the VAC if you look at the label on the underside. The front of the router doesn't have a lot, the side of the router on the right hand side as you look at it also doesn't have a lot. On the back of the router you've got your ADSL slash VDSL port on the left, two USB ports and in between them the reset port, four Ethernet ports, one Ethernet WAN port, the power socket and then the power button. On the left hand side you've got the WPS button which um, when I tried it didn't actually seem to work, it just flashed a lot and the computer didn't detect that WPS was uh, was happening. Um, on the underside, pretty standard Thompson or Technicolor router stuff of the Mac and the wireless details. Um, switching it on took an absolute age. So this is... I'd already plugged it in underneath the desk and it, it was... the button on the back was on when I plugged it in. And so I then stood up and then I looked at it and thought that's taking a while and then I thought, hmm, I should film it. So then I started recording and you know, by this time it's been at least probably 40 seconds just sat on that orange um, power light or status light. And as you'll see in this video, it takes ages. There we go. So it's now a red status light, but it hasn't even attempted to synchronize the AD, uh, sorry VDSL line yet. Now there we go, Wi-Fi is finally on. But in interestingly enough, Ethernet isn't yet. Yeah, Ethernet is you know, built into the device, you would have thought that's, uh, that would have lit up as one of the first things, but no, the VDSL starts to try and synchronise and then the Ethernet light comes on. And there we go, synchronised, and it sat like that for quite a long time before it actually authenticated on the network so uh, sadly got a long wait before it I actually uh, noticed that it changed its uh, its lights to doing something else uh, you'll see in a moment I use WPS but in my instance the machine is uh, immediately to the left of the router so well within you know incredible uh, Wi-Fi signal. I pressed the WPS button, the light lit up on the router, which you'll see, um, but the computer didn't detect it and just I had to type in the, the key in the end. So there you go, that's wha what it looks like when it's finally connected and authenticated on the network and then hold down the WPS button for a second or so and then let go. And it's supposed to be, or what's supposed to be doing WPS to the uh, computer, but as I say never worked, so uh, I'm unsure if that's something to do with the firmware or something incompatibility with the computer, but I gave up and typed in the wireless key. Then we move on to the web interface, which for Utility Warehouse has been kind of bastardized and made custom to them. Um, other than mm, looking mm, pretty horrible, like if you wanted to find um, Dyn DNS stuff, it's under the WAN services section, which is a bit strange. Um, and it doesn't show it in that little tile on the front page. Um, otherwise it seems to work alright. I, I probably actually prefer it to the standard Thompson web interface, uh, or Technicolor web interface, so I uh, can't particularly complain really. password for the utility warehouse ones is just admin and then admin as the password. There you go, that's the router that they are currently sending fibre customers.